Hello? What do I want? <laughs> I want Cadbury's. The Cadbury Show! <laughs> Certainly are. I'd know you anywhere. <laughs> Why, Reginald Goesworthy. Yes, I just called. Oh, Elsie, Elsie. It's Minnie out at the back. What is it, Min? Minnie, where, where are you? I'm over here. Help, help. Well, I can't see you. She's in the washing machine. In the washing machine? My goodness! Oh, come on, men, now get out. What on earth are you doing in there? Well, it says on the instructions that it washes your clothes and you don't have to do a thing. <laughs> Minnie, that doesn't mean you don't have to take your clothes off. Oh, well, look at me wet through and miserable. Ah, there's one thing to cheer you up. Dairy milk. I'd like to tell you all about it. I might have known it. Give him a line and he goes into business for himself. <laughs> That's why I'm here for Cadbury's. A byword for the smoothest, creamiest chocolate of all. Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate is simply packed with palate-pleasing flavour, rich in nourishing goodness. In each half pound of dairy milk, there's a glass and a half of milk. Milk, fresh, creamy milk. And it's sparkling full cream milk, smoothly blended to bring out the deep flavour of the chocolate. All that milk plus famous Cadbury quality chocolate results in a taste thrill that's always satisfying. There's pleasure aplenty in each thick, chunky square of dairy milk. Buy a block and see. Call it your chocolate counter and choose dairy milk in the purple and gold wrapper. Dairy milk chocolate. Today's best reason for I want Cadbury. Over here's Purse now, just past the window. Elsie, whatever you do, don't tell him about the room to let here. Oh, it'd be rather nice. What, to have him between meals as well as at meals? Well, perhaps we'd better keep the house all girls together. Here I am, Jelly Bean, larger than life. <laughs> You're telling us. Guess who I saw running down the street? That old gossip, Mrs. Gabler? No, Hercules, the greengrocer. Ah, oh, poor Mr. Hercules. Running? What's he trying to catch? I thought he'd caught everything but housemaid's knee. He said he'd be calling. Oh, that'll be him now. Why, Miss Plunge? Hello, dear. Still courting? Look, here you are. As soon as I saw these, I thought of you. Flowers. A wreath. <laughs> Somehow it seemed you. But more about me. Aren't I lovelier than ever? <laughs> I heard you had a vacant room. I know you'll be thrilled. I've come to live here. What made you think of coming here? I sometimes get my men friends mixed up and they'd never think to look for me here. And why not? What? Me and a hump for old ladies? Uh, are you still working in that office? Oh, no, I gave that up. Not enough future in it. Only one man. What are you doing now? Oh, I'm in gowns. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> This little number. It's a Marilyn Monroe creation. But haven't you got it on back the front? Yes, but I find I can wear a deeper plunge than Marilyn. Plunge? <laughs> From here it looks more like a high dive. <laughs> it's an exclusive model. It's called imagination. It doesn't take much material. Doesn't take much imagination. <laughs> Purse. Purse, put your eyes back. They look like organ stumps. <laughs> oh, how droll you are. I'm mad about Marilyn Monroe. Look, I've been practicing her walk. <laughs> Percy. Yeah, my glasses keep steaming over. You're not wearing glasses. Yeah, that must be my blood pressure. Well, I can't see anything in that walk. It's very tricky. I only walked two blocks and I had my garden on back to front. <laughs> and where will that get you? <laughs> How droll. Look where it got Marilyn. But of course tonight I've got to be a little Miss Prim and Proper. Oh no, whatever for? 
Well, it's Monday. That means it's Fred's night. Of course, I'm mad about Fred. Only on Mondays, of course. I never knew Fred was going to turn out like he did when he told me he was studying anatomy. You don't mean to tell me that Fred... Oh, no. <laughs> He's got to learn the theory before he does anything practical. <laughs> But my, is he working hard? <laughs> he says I'll be a much greater help when he takes biology, whatever that is. Tell me, are you going to study with Freddy? Only on Monday night. He thinks I'm an old-fashioned girl. You old-fashioned? When I meet Fred, I'm practically disguised. He's taking me to a dance tonight. Could you lend me an evening dress I could put a few tucks in so I look old and staid? Oh, my evening dress would be much too modern. I bought it when the Charleston first came out. <laughs> mm, perhaps that would do. No, 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 and no, I remember now. All the sequins have got sticky. The last time I wore it to dance, I st had a chair stuck to me all night. How mad, weird. Yeah, I couldn't let go of Elsie for three days. <laughs> Pity. Sounds just the thing. But I'll be able to pick one up at some old second-hand clothes store. Oh, I haven't told you about last night. Sunday night, that's Joe's night. You should have been there. Really? No, it probably wouldn't have turned out the same if you had been there. <laughs> but the party. Joe took me. I spent most of my time with Charlie and Elf, but Reg took me home. I'm madly mad about Reg. Oh, for Sunday night. But uh, what about Joe? I'm making him Tuesday lunch. Oh. Well, you must be very tired, my dears. You know where your room is. It's first floor front. How long can I have it for? The previous tenant won't be back for five years with time off for good conduct. <laughs> Did he leave any of his mad things? Only this book, The Conquest of Everest by Sir Edmund Hillary. You stick to books. My conquest is men. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I get so weary sometimes, but I feel it is my duty to bring a little happiness into the drab lives of as many men as I can. Here, here. Of course, dear, if, you, if you, you didn't sacrifice yourself, some other poor young girl would have to. Hello, Elsie. What about the spare room that's going? The only spare room I've got is for Cadbury's. <laughs> oh, right you are. Always leave room for dairy milk. And believe me, that's not hard. There's something about Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate that makes it always welcome. You enjoy the deep flavor of Cadbury quality chocolate, so smooth, full of energy-building nourishment. Then there's milk. Milk, fresh, creamy milk. A glass and a half, no less, in every half pound. Each deep bite into those thick, chunky squares proves how really good a good chocolate can be. Next time your palate calls for a smooth, satisfying snack, turn to Dairy Milk Chocolate. With 21 squares of smooth, creamy chocolate in the quarter pound block, plus all that satisfying flavor, no wonder everyone makes dairy milk a good reason for... I want Cadbury! Star of the set in a crown Shine upon my heart Oh, give me all I need Star of love Tell him I know I love her That life apart from her Is no Breaking, fall asleep, 
or lost in the valleys of dreaming. Star of love, all oh my soul is awakening to find the star of all of my love. Coupled with the goodness of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate, you can now enjoy the crisp, nutty flavor of Brazil nuts. Pop into the chocolate counter where you buy your dairy milk and right alongside you'll see Cadbury's Brazil Nut Chocolate. Brazil Nut Chocolate is an exciting combination of two flavors. Dairy milk with its glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk, plus Brazil's. Wholesome, nutty Brazil's packed with tangy, tantalizing goodness. And bear in mind, Brazil Nut Chocolate has more than just flavor to recommend it. Cadbury's Brazil Nut Chocolate is good for you. Buy a block tomorrow, you'll love it. Brazil Nut Chocolate, a two-fold flavor, a two-fold reason for I want Cadbury's. Men, have you read any of this Conquest of Everest book? Oh, no, Elsie. I looked at a couple of pages. It was too rude. Why? Well, it said for the last three weeks the whole party was indecent. Oh, no, not indecent, men. Indecent. Ah! Oh, it's most exciting. At one time, they almost had to give up because of a great big gorge. Disgusting. What do you mean? Stuffing themselves with food like that. <laughs> anyway, what's at the top of Everest? Nothing. Then why are they climbing it? Because no one else has ever been there. Hey, I'm not surprised. Sounds dark to me. All that trouble to get to nothing with nobody there. Oh, it's Mr. Hercules. Straight out of a sick bed. <laughs> Why, Mr. Hercules, you're back. Me back? Practically all aluminium. <laughs> me doctor is used to most things, but when he examines me, he recoils in horror. <laughs> I was having blackouts last month. That beat him. Look, in this book, The Conquest of Everest, it says that mountaineers had black house because the air was thin on top. That wouldn't apply to me. Oh. I've got a lovely head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I cured me blackouts with a new hat. Uh -huh. Yes, you see, the old one was too big and kept falling over me eyes. <laughs> oh, but this lump under me ear, that beats him. What, uh, what does he think it is? Well, he's testing me tonsils. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're in his office now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's a wonderful doctor. What he doesn't know about medicine would fill a book. <laughs> well, what about some vegetables? We must have something to eat. Do you realize eating causes nausea? Ah, oh, we won't worry about that. Our motto is eat, drink, and be merry. Yes, and tomorrow you might die. <laughs> And you'd never have known what was wrong with you. Oh, I shouldn't worry. I feel fine. You think you do. But do you realize you might have something obscure that the doctors would give anything to get their hands on? Well, I'd like to get my hands on some vegetables. Oh, I wouldn't if I were you. I feel so guilty when I'm selling greens. I feel as though I'm peddling heartburn. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with potatoes. Have you seen where they come from? No. The dirty ground. <laughs> now, I wouldn't tell this to anybody I hadn't met, but I think Dr. Macquarie is losing his nerve. Why? The rash. What rash? My rash. The beats him. <laughs> what sort of a rash is it? It's, it's so unusual, I all, almost haven't got it. Well, why should you have such an unusual rash? I'm gifted. <laughs> You've got to have a flair for those sort of things. That's true. I don't think I've ever known anyone who can be as ill as good as you can. Dr. Macquarie thinks the rash is psychological. It takes all different shapes. For instance, last week it looked like a mass of lines running all over the place. That cleared up when they settled the railway dispute. 
You would you say to have them got it now? Got it? You should see me back. A Spanish, Spanish galleon lying at the bottom of the sea. Well, what does that mean? We don't know until the diver comes up. I can't wait. Of course, I've still got those little bumps in me legs. But I'm off to see about that now. Oh, well, goodbye and good luck, Mr. Hercules. Be brave. I'll see you again when I've had a out. In the shoemaker shop, this new frame would never stop. I could have to wear, working all the day. At his bench, there was he, just as busy as a bee. Little time to lose, with his boots and shoes. But his heart went pop inside the little shop when a lovely girl set him all a whirl. She had come to choose some pretty dancing shoes and he heard her say in a charming way, I want some shoes that can be the For his fingers were bewitched and he sewed a dream into every scene. Making shoes oh so neat, just like magic on her feet. And he hoped she'd know that he loved her so. But she danced and danced as though she was in trance like a spinning top all around the shop. On her dainty feet, she ran into the street and he heard her say, in a charming way, I want some shoes and I'll be dancing, 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 dancing all day. Shoes and I'll be dancing, dancing, dancing all the day. with the goodness of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate, you can now enjoy the crisp, nutty flavor of Brazil nuts. Pop into the chocolate counter where you buy your dairy milk and right alongside you'll see Cadbury's Brazil Nut Chocolate. Brazil Nut Chocolate is an exciting combination of two flavors. Dairy milk with its glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk plus Brazil's. Wholesome, nutty Brazil's packed with tangy, tantalizing goodness. And bear in mind, Brazil Nut Chocolate has more than just flavor to recommend it. Cadbury's Brazil Nut Chocolate is good for you. Buy a block tomorrow. You'll love it. Brazil Nut Chocolate, a two-fold flavor, a two-fold reason for I want Cadbury's. Hello, man. We've just had our first meeting. Meeting of what, Bert? The new political party. The anti-social party. Ooh, what are you doing in that? Oh, I'm the first candidate. They picked me because they said I'm the most anti-social fellow they know. Uh, have you got a good platform? I'll say. For next Thursday night, we have to take it back to the odd fellows all. <laughs> no, I mean, what do you stand for? Nothing. Well, what are you up against? Everybody. <laughs> well, what's your slogan? Work for women. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Women should get higher pay. Yes, you're right. Yeah, what they bring home these days hardly keeps a bloke in cigarettes. <laughs> well, well, I like that. I thought you would. We advocate that all men should belong to the idle rich. All the fellas are for it. <laughs> I bet they are. The first thing we're going to see about is the early morning trams. Why, a woman can't get to her work. Hey, hey. She has to walk and walk home again. To say nothing of her old man waiting at home, never knowing when he can get out for a couple of schooners. <laughs> but we got a smashing banner for the meeting. Men who don't want to work, unite. That's our slogan. Uh, I'm dead hot on slogans. Well, did you get many along at your meeting? Well, we borrowed the Labour Hall, but the very name cast a pall on the proceedings. <laughs> of course, most of our sympathisers are in jobs. But there aren't some in them. <laughs> Hey, uh, where's Else? Oh, she's reading. Mm. Oh, look. 
She's fallen asleep over a book. What is it? The Conquest of Everest by Sir Edmund Hillary. I better wake her up. Hi, Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. <laughs> Jelly Bean. <laughs> she must be dreaming. Uh, what is it, Jelly Bean? I'm just checking the gear before we climb Mount Everest. You know, we're going to Everest. I thought we were going to have a rest. <laughs> now, Pers, have you got the snowshoes? It's no good, Jelly Bean. Every time I put them on, they melt. <laughs> what about my climbing boots? Is it necessary to wear the spike kind with the long nails? Of course it is. But are the nails supposed to be on the inside? Hey, we're not going to carry all this stuff, are we? No, we've got the porters, you know, the Sherpas. Oh, them. Oh, I sat the lot of them. I thought you said there were Sherpas. <laughs> no, Sherpas carry all the stuff. And the best ones are tigers. Oh, not for us. We're going to have kangaroos and get the jump on everyone else. <laughs> First, don't forget there's another party climbing the other side. Which side? The inside. The inside? Hey, that reminds me, my inside. What about food? Oh, well, Sir Edmund Hillary advised me to take light food because of the weight. So in these boxes we've got sponge cakes, souffles and mirroring views. <laughs> what have we got to drink? Instant water. Instant... Instant water? Yes. But this is an empty can. Well, that's it. You see, you add water to it and it, it's ready to drink. <laughs> Else, what are you dragging me up a mountain for? Well, I'm hoping that you get a little bolder. I, uh... <laughs> Don't forget the sleeping bag. Me? I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> I wasn't sleeping, I was thinking. <laughs> Minnie, thinking at a time like this and we're so busy. What were you thinking? Well, I was wondering if we'd stop the milk at Cuckoo Avenue. Oh, 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 oh look, look, what have you got in that bundle? A backless evening gown. Now, what did you bring that for? Well, I thought I might meet some of those winter sports. <laughs> And these fuchsia flannelette nighties and embroidered bed socks. Well, I didn't want to get one of those frozen waists. Well, it's time we got started. You better put the put, put the packs on the backs of the yaks. No, not that one of minis. Ooh, but you can't leave it. There's I a... don't want any yakety yak about your pack. The yaks back won't stand that pack. <laughs> What's the red flannel nightdress and other things hanging from it? You brought the wrong rope. Oh, why didn't you tell me? They were unmentionables. Aye, oh. uh, we'd better rope ourselves together. Purse, what are you doing with all that rope? You look like an octopus in the throes of one man a dargio. You're just roping yourself to yourself. Uh, there's about 200 feet here. We've been cheated. There should be 29,002 feet. Oh, many don't be silly. That's the height of the mountain. Oh. Purse, 200 feet should be enough. Enough? <laughs> That'll only just go round you and purse. <laughs> well, off we go. Best foot forward. What'll I do with the other one? Leave it here. <laughs> hey, my eyesight's going. I can't see anything but snow. Goggles, purse. Goggles. Well, I can't see how to help me eyesight, but here it goes. Well, we're doing well. We've taken care of 18,000 feet. I wish someone would take care of mine. Yeah. I knew it would snow. My corns are killing me. No wonder they're playing up on your fancy wearing elastic-sided boots. Hey, look at that peak. That's funny. It looks familiar. Hey, what does it say on that stone? Let me have a look. 20,000 feet above sea level. Johnson and Smith rested here in 1929. Hillary and Hunt rested here in 1954. Errol Flynn reached here, retreating from Burma, didn't stop. 
20,000 feet. Oh, well, I think we've had enough for one day. Does that mean I can put this yak down? It's got me pack on its back. Yes, yes, Purse. And pitch the tent over there. Right, oh, Jelly Bean. Anything you say? Oh, Purse, what have you done? I don't know why we carried it all the way up here just to throw it away. Oh, look. Look, there's the head of the Sherpas, Tiger Tin Song. You talk to him, Purse. You all say you speak a universal language. And uh, now, else, they're only swear words. Well, what are we going to do? I can't speak Sherpa easy. Hey, don't worry, I'll fix it. Hey, you! One fella boy, come alongside Whiteside. <laughs> fix him talky talky. Fix him up chop chop, pretty slick quick. You fellas savvy? Oh, I say, old boy, what a novel idiom. You've had Sir Edmund Hillary rolling in the aisles, that spiffing patter. Ah, you understand me then? Well, you're a bit tricky to follow, but um, I can't run. Oh, I said the rest of my boys will love this. Oh, Mr. Tinsong, we want to make camp here for the night. And no, I'm frankly sorry, but um, you're trespassing. Trespassing? 20,000 feet up the mountain? Well, actually, Colonel Carew of the Frontier Force has a garden 500 feet under this snow. Well, how can we hurt his garden? Well, all this tramping about will absolutely wreck his hydrangeas. We'd better push on. Push on where to? To the summit. It's fairly quiet up there. Oh, well. Come on, everybody. Forward! Goodness knows how Elsie keeps going. She must be made of steel. She's heartless forcing the pace like this. Onward, upward, never faltering. Else, how do you manage to keep going like this? Well, after all, Purse, I'm the only one with a bike. <laughs> look, look, the end's in sight. You're telling me I've been behind you all the way up the mountain. <laughs> Hey, Jellybean, I'll straight... I can't go any further. Oh, come on, Minnis, only a few more feet to the top. Hey, it looks as though there's somebody there before us. Oh, no, it can't be. Oh, hello, Miss Elsie. Meet my Saturday boy, Sir Edmund Hillary. <laughs> Any day of the week, an old friend that deserves a special greeting is Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. That's because dairy milk is always likeable, always pleasing. In the new quarter pound block, there are 21 thick, chunky squares of deep flavoured chocolate to tempt even the most particular taste. There's the nourishment of Cadbury quality chocolate too, plus milk, milk, fresh, creamy milk. There's no other chocolate quite as smooth and creamy as Cadbury's Dairy Milk. That's why it's best to pick the purple and gold wrapper at your chocolate counter. Remember, only in dairy milk chocolate can you really taste that glass and a half of milk in every half pound. Make dairy milk your daily companion. Just say, I want Cadbury's. In tonight's Cadbury show, you heard many lovers, many Kevin Brennan as our old friend Purse, Frank Strain as Mr. Hercules, Audrey Teasdale as Miss Plunge, David Butler as Sherpa. Songs by Donald Cameron and Babs McKinnon to the music of Wilbur Kentwell. Now, this is Reginald Goldsworthy saying goodnight for Elsie, your Cadbury star, Rita Pornsford. <laughs>